Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about EUC stands, specifically the ones made by Duff. He's, he uh, makes these and sells them on his website, otherwise known as EUC Army. The first time I got one of these was when I received the demo Z10 from um, E-Wheels and it had first gone through uh, Duff's hands and it and he, I'm not sure if he threw more than one of these in the box, but um, at least when I got the wheel, which I think I was the last last one getting that wheel, uh, I kept the stand that was sewn in here. And I think uh, it was, um, I think it was damn. I suspect he threw it in the box because it wasn't wasn't fully uh, wasn't production ready. Something they sell because it looks like there's some defects here. And, and it worked, uh, but the side panels were a little bit loose because this design, these just, uh, the side pieces just fit in here with friction and it wasn't a, wasn't a real tight fit. And being that I live in California, earthquake country, I'm always in the back of mind thinking about little shakes that happen that wheel could just uh, tip over. So it made me nervous about putting my wheels on, on this. I did later uh, drill some holes and put my own bolts through here, which, which really did toughen it up. So I feel good about using this now. I just playing around, I painted, painted this black. Uh, but I'd commented to uh, Duff that, you know, these are kind of, kind of flimsier, are they all that way? And then, um, so he he sent me his uh, I believe this is one he's currently producing on his website. Uh, it was a it was a gray color which I didn't li like. I really liked this one that he originally sent me. So I painted mine blue and painted the base black. Uh, this is a cool design. Uses a um, the the side piece is all one piece, and then there's a spacer in between, and then they get, um, there's bolts which go through here, machine screws, which he provides with nuts, which are captured in this slot. I did paint them black, so uh, Duff, if you want to take your game up just a notch, um, paint the hardware black. I think it looks cool. Then again, it kind of depends on, uh, again, this was a gray, so maybe the metal actually would have looked good with that one, but uh, I like a color coordinated look. But anyway, this, this, this works really good. However, I had a problem. I, when I got my KS16X, uh, it's a wide wheel that the shell underneath, um, there, there was shell underneath the pedal, the, underneath the pedals and they they w would not fit on this so I'd commented that to him he said oh well you, you just need the the wider one that I make and what's nice about his design is he just needs to make these 3d print these spacers a bit longer and he can fit different wheels and that's what he sent me he was kind enough to send me one of those I wish I want to unpack that now and show you what it looks like Okay, let's see what's in here. So I believe it's, it's the same design. <clears throat> However, he has a apparently a new material. Oh. <laughs> Lemonhead, Duff is sending out candy now. <laughs> My dentist will love him. More candy, well, oh, gum too. <laughs> What's in here? So he's printing these with a, apparently a new type of plastic that looks cool. Wow, these do look cool. And um, more candy. <laughs> the hardware. Of course, he hasn't seen my comment that I just made about painting the hardware black, but uh, I will do that. Not today, but later. I need to use this right now. Yeah, 
and uh, sticker. Not sure what I, how I'll use that, but uh, that's that. Let me uh, zoom in here and show you what this looks like. Okay, well, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's got this real, it's kind of a metallic look to it. It's kind of cool, glittery look to it. Yeah, like, uh, you know, metallic spray paint that you can get. Uh, very nice. And the finish is definitely higher quality than the, the other stands. <laughs> I really like this, uh, this, I don't know, yeah, that's really nice to look how he changed the, the type of plastic because this is not painted. Beautiful finish. Yeah, it's really high quality. Super smooth. Those other stands were definitely felt feel much coarser. Love it. So Duffy saved me having to paint uh, paint your your letter so that they stand out. And I love the black. Black is a good look. So it doesn't look like I'm going to have to paint this. And then here are the the spacers. And did he paint uh, the nuts? What's going on here? Hmm. I'm gonna have to take these out. It looks like he put some tape, some black tape on here. I think I'm going to take those out and paint them because uh, I think that's a better look. But just broad strokes, black looks good. So you're halfway there, Duff. You're you're on you're on to me. So in this case, I would just have to assemble it and paint paint the the heads on these uh, machine screws. All right, I will do that later another time. Let me assemble this now. Not exactly a lot to assembling these, <laughs> which is good. I like to see how the how the sixteen X is going to look. Feels great. Definitely wider. Look at that. Substantially wider. This is also going to fit my my uh, Z10 too. I don't really use these stands to store my wheels, but I use them for uh, taking pictures and periodically when I work on the wheels, it's nice to get them to get them up on a stand. So that's how I'm going to be using these. I'll be using this shortly with my. 16x, but uh, let me grab it and see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, oh, these things are beast. <laughs> ah, it fits.
barely. Looks good though. Yeah, you can't actually use the pedals, but uh, yeah, cool. Feels uh, nice and nice and solid. I do notice something though. I think if you, I think if Duff wants to have a truly, truly custom uh, or one of these that truly fits the 60 next like perfectly, he's gonna have to probably substantially redesign it. But if he doesn't, I mean, it's, it's still sturdy and still works, but uh, let me show you, let me show you the problem. And it's really a pro problem with, um, not a problem, but it's, it comes about because of the way the KS16X pedals work. So let me put the Z10 on here and uh, I'll show you that first. Uh, the G10, the heaviest wheel made other than the Monster. Whew. Now that fits perfectly. And uh, let me zoom in, I'll show you what's going on here. Okay, here you can see the pedal hanger is fully seated within this recessed area of the, of the stand. And uh, as far as I think about all the current wheels out there, uh, when the pedals are closed, they expose the bottom of the, the pedal ha hanger so they, they fit in the stand uh, perfectly. And here you can see the nice, nice amount of uh, space between the shell and the side of the, the stand here. It's, uh, it's really a perfect fit for the Z10. So now we have the 16X pedals and you can see that when the pedals are up, maybe even when they're down, they, uh, they're below the pedal hanger. So the pedal hanger no longer sits on this recess in the stand. Instead, the stand is uh, resting on these two nubs on the side. Uh, so I think if, um, if, I were to, if I were making these, I wanted to sell them for 16X users, I would just uh, get rid of the nubs that are standing up and just make all this this flat then then these would perfectly be uh, they'd rest perfectly on this uh, side of the stand and then uh, let me show you the other view okay so hopefully you can see here that there's basically no space between the, the shell and the side of the EUC stand now if these pads didn't exist it would work but I actually had to bend out the side pads, the side of this UC stand just a little bit so that it clears the soft uh, pad on the side. So again, I think if you want, Duff, if you want to make these so they fit the KS16 perfectly, I think I would make the spacers probably about a quarter of an inch uh, longer thereabouts to uh, fit much better fit the 16X. All right, so there you have it. These new stands, stands are, they really are beautiful. I love, and I, I love the, what he did with the, the lettering. It makes it really pop. Um, so definitely, I, it's, a, it's a winner for any of the uh, variety that he sells, but definitely I think if you're, if you're getting a 16X, one for a 16X, I'd wait to see if he uh, updates a little bit to uh, make some of the changes that I suggested so it fits. Uh, perfectly. I mean, it fits now, now in a sturdy. But um, if you, I think if you're buying a stand for a particular wheel, it it should fit a little better than this. All right, and uh, I'll throw down a link below, by the way, to uh, Duff's uh, website so you can check out the uh, different models that he sells. See you guys later.